I had a lady come to me for a scan whose main complaint was significant pain due to arthritis in her hand. At this time, she could barely close her fingers because the pain was so significant, and also her joints were very stiff. So sometimes what happens with the scan is that you think the results will show the issue right in the area of the symptom. But that's not always the case. So with this lady, the scan didn't bring up anything to do with her hand or fingers. Surprising, you might think. But actually, no. The scan is highly intelligent. The technology is calibrated to look for the root causative factors. And sometimes the root causative factors happen to be in the same or similar area as the symptom you're experiencing somewhere in your body. But there are also times and situations when that is not the case, as it was with this lady. What I found was that she had specific parasites in her liver and digestive system, as well as her pancreas. This caused quite an imbalance. It also added to the digestive troubles that she was experiencing. There were other challenges as well, but these were some of the main concerns that came up in the course of the scan. With the rebalancing that we did energetically, we helped her body reduce the parasite load, clear out the toxins that the parasites created in her blood and her system, reduced the inflammation that was caused in her digestive tract, and then created a very easy to follow, simple dietary change that would significantly support her body and her system in a quicker, smoother recovery. Within a few weeks, she could move her fingers quite well. And after a few more recharging sessions, she called me up and said, my hand is great. Not only do I not feel pain, I can bend all of my fingers again. And it was that easy. It was that easy. She was willing to make a change to her diet. She was also willing to see the psychological components that additionally impacted. So... When you have some sort of pain in your body, that pain is your friend telling you something is not right. Listen to it. What is that pain trying to tell you? Maybe you need to change your eating. Maybe you need to create stronger boundaries. Maybe you need to stop being a people pleaser. Maybe you need to learn to advocate for yourself and love yourself more. These are all factors in pain, and of course there are many other areas that will affect your body and your mind and your spirit. When I do a scan with someone, based on their symptoms and what I find, there's always a direct correlation to their emotional state and well-being. And it's an important part of the conversation that I have with clients. They go hand in hand. I myself had arthritis when I was about 14 years old, and it was so severe I could almost not use that part of my body anymore. And it was quite an intense time. I learned many coping skills, but the best skill that I learned after about five or six years of this experience was, I'm enough. I don't need to be perfect. I don't need to be a people pleaser. I can and should advocate for my needs and do what is right for me that feels aligned with my core values. And it's okay to say yes to what I want. It's okay to say no to what I don't want. And these are hard lessons to learn for most of us. But it's really worthwhile. So when your body is giving you a clear signal like pain, Ask yourself, what is it trying to tell you? Instead of pushing away the pain and hating it, think of it as a guiding friend, helping you put light onto a situation that needs 
resolving, that needs your love, that needs your compassion, and that needs your strong decision in terms of doing what's truly best for you, for your highest good. Love yourself more.